Hello, welcome to lesson number two of our environmental prevention course. Hope everybody's beginning to catch up to speed. Um, again, this is a really short, brief overview um, of what's inside of this lesson. We will begin talking about from the textbook, chapter number two, which is a history of drugs specifically within the United States. Um, so that's really important foundational reading. If you're interested in a, a more detailed study of this, uh, there's a substance abuse overview course at Forsyth. Um, that is a really good course that provides a, an entire semester on the history of drugs uh, throughout the world and within the United States and how that has impacted our perceptions and approaches uh, to dealing with the drug problem, and if drugs really is a problem nationally. Uh, this lesson, in addition to talking about um, uh, the history of drugs, introduces environmental prevention, which is the topic of this course more in detail. And, and we start talking about environmental prevention um, in the community setting, first of all, and we'll be drilling down to more specific settings, such as the school setting, as we go along in the semester. But what is environmental prevention? Or what is prevention? You know, we've talked about what prevention is, that we're trying to prevent or head off a certain societal problem, such as substance abuse or diabetes, uh, domestic violence, and so forth. So trying to prevent that problem. And there are several ways to provide prevention. One way is one-on-one is -on -one prevention. That's, that's the type of prevention that has historically been delivered in terms of you might work directly with one, two, three clients, maybe even a small classroom, provide them a 26-week or six-month series on prevention topics, how to deal with stress and so forth, and the hope was uh, those efforts would uh, prevent some type of negative outcome. I'm sorry, excuse me. My allergies are, are getting the best of me. Um, environmental prevention kind of is, is, is a bit different. That's where the approach is, is providing uh, messages based on science to hundreds, thousands, or even millions of people at the same time. And that could come in a, in a variety of, of messages using the media, using the classroom setting in large groups, using video, using newspapers, TV, and, and so forth. Basically, environmental prevention is spreading that same message, but over or to a significant number of people in the community at the same time. And it, it takes more of a systems approach, meaning we want to address this life issue or societal issue at all facets at all points of the person's problem or society's problem. So um, th this lesson does a pretty good job of introducing environmental prevention, what it is, what it is not. Uh, um, we talk about the concepts such as planning prevention programming, um, uh, implementing programming, evaluating programming, um, and before we actually implement programming, conducting research or needs evaluations in the community to make sure that the actions that we are um, planning on implementing are actually the most appropriate actions to take. Because we think we may think we know what the problem is, but once we really look at the issue, that problem that we thought we knew about is, is just a symptom of something bigger and a bigger issue that exists within the community. It's kind of like peeling the onion back until we get to the core of the problem. So I do provide you several examples of, of environmental prevention programming, um, some from Smith SIG, which you will read what that means, as well as, which I was involved with it for four years inside the state, um, plus violence prevention that I have been involved with for the past couple of years inside the state. So again, my involvement in env environmental prevention has, has ran from Substances, yes, to violence prevention, to domestic violence prevention. So when we talk about this environmental prevention, don't limit yourself just to substance abuse because it's, it goes way beyond, uh, prevention goes way beyond substance use. There are several videos I'm asking folks to, uh, to watch. One video was a document, 
documentary I produced, which was was about 38 minutes long, that talks about the dangers of um, drink driving within Surrey County and, and the effects of, of drink driving within Surrey. And it was produced within this environmental prevention effort um, and, and concept. So it's a pretty good example of environmental prevention um, in, in the big picture. I'll, I've also included multiple documents for you to read that explains environmental prevention and gives some research bases and, and that type of thing. Make sure to read those. What we're trying to do is build a really good foundation of material and knowledge as we go along that we will continue to build on. So if we don't um, take time to read about and, and try to understand and talk about some of the concepts that we are reviewing inside the material, when we get to lesson seven, eight, nine, students will be totally lost. Uh, and we won't be will not be able to understand some of the more big picture items. So again, I'm always here to help. Hopefully um, by the time late February comes, I will be several lessons ahead of you. So for those of you who, who want to work ahead, um, you'll be able to uh, several lessons. Again, I'm always here to help you. My goal is to, is to be here to, to help you through the process and, and, and to um, uh, uh, be here. So hope everybody has a good week and, and take care.